All right, hey there, Sam with you. A good day to all. Uh, where we were, uh, just Wednesday, June 20th here. It's kind of mid-morning, and we uh doing some new things here. So we, we poll our Twitter followers now. They give them the opportunity to vote uh, in on what's going to get some video analysis, and uh, we're doing this now on Wednesdays. So for those of you that participated, we appreciate that. For those that uh, have not but would like to, uh, maybe offer suggestions on what's going to get uh, a, a video analysis here, feel free to subscribe to us on Twitter. We also, you'll find their access to our <clears throat> to our public Discord, where you can, if you're interested in what we're doing over on the members Discord, you can get access there kind of uh, you know, see some more, it's almost like a trial. You won't get full access, but you'll be able to see kind of the, get a feel for what we're doing there. So this uh, was the uh, uh, clear winner per the requests of the polling we did on Twitter is for ECA. Now, so this is for Electra. Now, I was not familiar with this project. It appears to be relatively, relatively new. It looks like the Genesis date has been over a year, but the only place that I can find access to it here is on Cryptopia. It's not available, it's, or Cryptopia, where the volume is, where the majority of the volume is, is not, is not available, it's not an exchange that TradingView offers. So if we, just, just to make the point here, so if we, if we come over and we look here at trading exchanges, you can see where this is trading and almost all the volume is in, is in Bitcoin. So 90% of it is on Cryptopia, so we're going to look at ECA to Bitcoin on Cryptopia. So looking over here, now it didn't hit, this is our uh, date it hit Cryptopia. This is April 6th of this year. So we do not have a lot of trading history here. So it's a, a relatively brief analysis as we just, we don't have a lot to work with, but we we can see after the ICO craziness, we, we get a good pivot down here. And we, and we get an impulsive, we get a motive wave coming off the low. In fact, we get an impulse. Look at this perfect tap here. So we get three tries at the wave one high and they can't get it, they can't break it. So we stay with an impulsive structure. Like it's a little, little shaky here on this. Yeah, you'd have to dig out the four and the five there, but you've got, a, you've got a one wave here. So I can get a three, four, five to give me a one. And then we, it appears we come down in a nice ABC. Now is the low in? You know, it's hard to say given that price action. And you can see here reflected in just the way the chart looks. We just, we do not have a lot of volume here. So if you're, it would appear to me based on the, the enthusiasm for this that we received through Twitter, that this is a bit of a passion play. So people are excited about this uh, project fundamentally as there's, there's not a lot, there's not enough data here to get excited about it technically. Well, I'm a technician, so I look at this. So when I, when I bring up a chart like this, the first thing I say is, well, there's not enough data to trade it yet. You know, that was my first instinct, but then you know, throw, throw a wave count on it. Is there enough here? Well, sure, you could trade this. We, we, we've got an ABC coming down here. Yeah, we break the golden zone, but if this is going to be a wave two, it's, it can go as low anywhere from the 50 to the 786 would be a reasonable spot and high probability spot to find that second wave. I don't have great subdivision here in the C wave. I'm on a four hour chart here because below that there's just there's almost no shape to it. We just don't have the volume yet. But it's a contender here for a second. Give me a second. So if you're a buyer here, I wouldn't, you know, there's not a lot of downside. We got zeros not too far away. But you could be a buyer there if you're excited about this project. Now, you're going to need to know something that, that would not be reflected here. So if I, come, if I come here and I go to just overview, and many of you that follow me here know that I'll use CoinGecko kind of as a reference for the project. Now, granted, we don't have a lot of history here, but it's, you know, what do I want? I'll overview here. <clears throat> so I, I will tell, you can, you can see this price action here. Now, my, my baseline here is to look for a metric score here, a complete metric score of 50 or higher. So at 29, that, that doesn't mean it's not a good project. It's just, I, I think what that's implying is that we just don't have enough historical data here. This just hasn't been around long enough. Liquidity is low, developer interest low, but that could just be reflecting the fact that it's a relatively new project and it's just starting to get some traction, some volume and a little, a little bit of uh, recognition here. So again, it, it would appear that people are excited about it. I'll, you know, I will let you, uh, 
do your own fundamentals. I'm not here to, te- you know, to preach and teach fundamentals. I'm here to show you what technically is available to you. So uh, just a point of caution here that this is a, an immature project. Doesn't mean it can't get to those levels, but it's not, it's not there yet. So if we look here, you know, I get an ABC. You could be a buyer here. I, I don't know that I would be riding that much beyond the 786. So if I were a buyer here, simply because of all the upside that you have here. So if that's going to play Elliott Ball and we're going to get up towards a third of this, got to get these relabeled here. So here would be, you know, we, we'd be just pushing. Well, let, let's let's track it here. So if, uh, if I do the <clears throat> trend based, if I take the length of my one from my two and use that as my two low, well, here's 100%. So that would be equivalent. That would be the equivalent of uh, equality with the wave one. It's contender. So here, here's our 1618. So if it's going to go higher, we're going to get a true third out of that if we're going to get an impulse. Well, that would be a reasonable target. So the risk reward is outstanding here, but I'd, I'd be cautious about how, how far you're going to take that down if that continues to move lower. As I said, we don't know that we have a pivot here. We, it's, a, it's a contender, but this could certainly move lower. We could be relabeling just like that. So, you know, if you like it here, you'll love it here. It's this, this would be yeah, I mean, you know, if, if you're if you're excited about the project, it's a reasonable place to be a buyer here. I wouldn't be riding this much below the 7.86, so just no reason to. Let it do what it's going to do. If it's going to take out the 7.6, I'd wait, look for another bounce, and then the first retracement back from that. So it looks like it's a it's going to be a, a, a contender, and certainly people are excited about its potential. But, um, you know, approach with some degree of caution because you do not have great volume yet. And you've got a, you got a, you know, a, a fairly reasonable entry zone right here, with with good upside. We can say it that. So there you go. Approach uh, with a bit of caution, but looks like there's plenty of upside uh, for a believer. All right, guys, I'll wrap it there on.